Hello and welcome to another Amazon Amatron 3 video. In this step-by-step -step guide we're going to look at how to import VRA shapefiles into the Amatron 3 terminal for use with Amabus machines. Okay, start by turning the Amatron on and the machine should load up immediately. So, insert the USB stick at this point and then press and hold the toggle switch for three seconds. The menu overview is displayed and use the keypad to highlight GPS switch and then press the enter key. The GPS switch menu should appear now press F1 to go to the field data menu. So on the screen is a, a previous application map and boundary called RL02. And we want to start from a clean sheet, so press key F1 for a new field. And Amatron will ask you if you want to store the current record. So I'm going to click no in this case. Okay, so now we have a blank field. Now I press key F7, import. <coughs> now I need to use the keypad to select application map. And then press the enter key. Okay, and here's the directory of the USB stick. So I use the keypad again to now select, uh, find and select my field. So depending where you've stored it on the USB stick, you'll have some folders which have a backward slash in front of the folder name. And then I've got my fields uh, just as files further on down. So once I've selected my field, just press the Enter key. And depending on what information is held on the uh, shapefiles, you may have uh, a couple of different options come up now. In this case, I've just got one, and that's the calibration um, rates for each zone listed. So I just press enter now. We use the keypad to highlight rate cal and then press enter. I just need to select uh, which units I'm using. So this is a working with a spreader, so I'm going to use kilograms per hectare. And then press the enter key. You'll think about it for a few seconds. Now the application map is loaded. Okay, the map's in the middle, showing the zones with different colours. And in the left-hand column, I can see the different zones and different rates. At this point, I can change all of the rates by a set percentage, if I want to, which I'm going to do now. So press key F2. and I can enter in the rate that I want to alter every rate by. So I'm going to enter using the keypad uh, a change rate of plus 13%. So I need to tell it that I'm increasing the rate by 113%. Once I'm happy, press the enter key. and the display will show you the application map again and you can see on the left hand column the base rates for each zone have changed by 13%. If 
If I feel the need just to change a single zone, I can. So I need to use the um, keypad uh, to select the zone on the left hand column. You can see as I press the down key, it's highlighted the first zone. And now the second zone at 117.5 kilos. So I want to change this particular zone. I can. I press key F3. And here's the rate in that zone. And I'm going to change it to 150. So use the keypad in the same way. Then press the enter key. You can see the rate has changed in that zone and it's highlighted here. And press the escape key. And the back key F4. And the back key F4 again. and then press escape to go to the work menu. And there I am. So the tractor is in the field and I can see the target rate of 99 kilos per hectare. Okay. Thanks for watching. Bye.